Hey, what's up, CV Maniacs? I'm Militia, and I'm here with the creators of the True Blood comic book. What's your name, love? Mariah. Okay, this is Mariah and her co-writer. David Tishman. David Tishman. So, um, I'm a hardcore True Blood fan, so I'm very excited about this. I think we all are. Absolutely. So, when did this come about? Like, give us history of the comic book. Sure. Uh, God, I, well, it's a while ago now, I guess, but um, we were talking to HBO because we were very interested in the in the license, and um, you know they they were like, well, we really want to do comics. We want to make sure we get the right team. So uh, we put together a pitch, like a three-page comic for it, and uh, we really focused on the dialogue and make sure the characters really sounded like themselves. And we kind of tried to get as many of them as possible into a, like a little scene. And we sent it to them, and they really, really loved it. Uh, they really loved David Messina's artwork, which really looks like the characters, but still has a lot of energy. And then we got to meet with Alan Ball, which, yeah, is he's such a genius. Kind of amazing, you know. And uh, we got to actually plot the story with him. We got oh, wow. to meet with him for a few hours. They were very generous with their time. Uh, and the other two head writers, um, and they were fantastic. So we broke down each issue. We broke down the whole plot. And then after that, we did an outline, and then we went to scripts, and they've been unbelievably supportive this whole time. Wow, that's amazing. So in this comic book, is this the only comic book, or is there, is there more? It is a, a six-issue story. Um, it is going to be a continuing series, but it's going to be, each story is going to be six issues, and then we sort of take a break in the same way that the seasons take a break. Okay, so... Collected, though, there'll be a hardcover edition with the whole story. Ooh, very nice. Yeah, be very nice. The first one comes out in February. Uh, it's going to be pretty swank. I love it. So, are they following the storyline in the comic book, or does it veer off into other stories? Yeah, that's what we, we really uh, got a chance to do. We didn't want to just adapt the seasons because that's, you know, people already know what goes on. So, we, we really uh, get to tell unique new stories, but they still follow the canon of the, the, the show. So, we do get to tell these new interesting stuff that's characters that nobody's seen before, but they are really the background of the characters. They really do fit in. And we've got some really great stuff that, that dovetailed into the show without us meaning to. Uh, some great stuff with Lafayette's mother. <laughs> I was just going to ask because I do love her, and the Lafayette character is one of my favorites. Actually, he's my favorite. So he is your favorite, right? But on the show, we get to see a lot of him, and he's one of my favorite characters because he has he has great dialogue, but he's just a really, really intense character. But he has wonderful emotional moments. So getting to tell the story that we got to with him was something I was really, really happy, and I'm very proud of the way that one turned out. Excellent. And as far as the characters, which one do you feel like um, you identified with the most? Oh, that's interesting. Well, I like Jason. Jason? Okay. I like Jason. Explain why. Uh, those abs are pretty awesome. Oh, yeah, it's, it is a lot about the abs there. Oh, yeah. Plus, he's a ladies' man, you know. And Jason is, I love the fact, I love the way Jason is so unintentionally funny. And just sort of walks through life and sort of just has these wonderful little adventures and uh, is sort of oblivious to the whole thing. And what character would you say that you identify with? Boy, that's a really tough one. Um, honestly, Lafayette, as the kind of out- She love Lafayette. I, I, I love him. I wish I was that clever. Uh -huh. I mean, any he, of- He is a witty one. Yes. Um, but the, the kind of outsider sort of character is something that I really do identify with, and somebody who has to sort of deal with that a lot, that's something I definitely related to a lot. Very cool. Now, tell me, are the werewolves included in the, in the comic book? There are, this, this story is sort of somewhere in between season one and season two, so we don't have any werewolves. Yet. Yet. But you're going to give me my owl seed, right? But I will tell you this. We created an original monster for this story that is not the series. Lots of very cool tentacles and like a jaw that drops down. There's like some cool stuff going on. But what we did do is we amped up the violence, we amped up the sex. Ooh, I'm already intrigued. If you're, if you're into watching Eric, or you're into watching Jason, there's something for everybody. Oh, Excellent. The story focuses on a different character, so no matter who you're really into, there's something that 
really tells you something about them that you didn't know before. And there's really nice moments. The first issue that you've got right there has a really lovely Sookie story. And uh, the art styles change for each individual character's story. So you really get a nice, unique feeling from each one. Oh, wow. I love it. Well, thank you guys so much. That was very informative. I can't wait to read these. These are calling my name. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to rack up and give it to all my homegirls at home, my Eric Northman fans, my Bill fans, because my homegirls and I are diehard. So Sunday night at 9 o'clock, that's what we always do. And then this gives us something to tie us over between seasons. So thank you guys so much. It was a pleasure. CV Mania, Militia, signing off.